What is going on guys? Nathan here with another Team Fortress 2 gameplay commentary. Here playing on the original Swiftwater, actually, uh, this is not the UGC modified version of Swiftwater, which I think this is my first time playing on this map um, with the Baby Faces Blaster. Um, the Baby Faces Blaster is useful for, get for getting around, obviously, but it's one of those weapons where you just kind of like use it every once in a while just for the funsies and uh, not really take it too seriously. But honestly, uh, besides that, this, this video is not going to pertain to Team Fortress 2 at all. Instead, I have a question for you guys to Today, I am wondering if you would be interested in viewing a very like long video of a match of myself and my friends playing Settlers of Catan in real life. Uh, we're getting some ideas on what we could do in terms of camera angles. Um, but if now let me back up here and explain what Settlers of Catan is for those of you who have not heard of it before. Um, and I'm actually going to read kind of like a cut and dry version of the summary because I feel like my explanation would not be good enough like I would try to skew some details or something but this is according to BoardGameGeek.com In Settlers of Catan, players try to be the dominant force on the island of Catan by building settlements, cities, and roads. On each turn, dice are rolled to determine what resources the island produces. Players collect these resources in the shape of cards and that involves wood, grain, brick, sheep, and stone to build a up their civilizations to get 10 victory points and win the game. Setup includes randomly placing large hexagonal tiles in a honeycomb shape, and there'll be a, probably like a picture of this in the video somewhere as well, in a honeycomb shape and surrounding them with water tiles, some of which contain ports of exchange, uh, and then number discs, which correspond to die rolls are placed on each resource tile. Each player is given two settlements, uh, which look like houses and basically, and roads, which are like little sticks, which are in turn placed on intersections and borders of the resource tiles. Players collect a hand of resource cards based on which hex tiles their last place house is adjacent to, and there's like a robber on desert, but basically it's a, it's a game uh, involving resources and trading, and overall the reason that we actually want to upload this to YouTube is because when we get together for these Catan game nights, which we're hoping to make more of a tradition, especially in the summer, just designate like every, I don't know, like Tuesday is like a Catan night or something like that. Uh, basically, when we get together for these game nights, it is an absolute blast. Like, Catan is a blast in the first place, but then you add in the absolute craziness and hyped upness, if that's a thing, of, like, soda. Like, each time we get together for a Catan night, um, we, we actually have sort of, like, mini competitions as to how much soda we drink each night that we have these get-togethers. And it's just a blast, and we wanted to share the fun that we're having with other people, you know, like maybe, maybe someone else, even though they're not actually here at the event, they can kind of take part in the fun, um, by at least watching it. Uh, so like in terms of technicalities, we're looking at the episodes, like each game probably lasts about two and a half hours. That's kind of a short game, but they could last up to three and a half hours. And we're looking at two camera shots one will be looking down on the board so you get a close-up of the board and see what's actually happening in terms of the game and then one camera um will be in like a different section of the screen that will actually show everybody like everybody's faces everybody's reactions uh because crazy stuff does happen and the fact that we're still you know immature high school kids um is is added into the mix as well so um all of this aside, there will be a poll of the mill link down in the description that you should click on and vote whether you'd be interested in viewing this type of video. Um, it's it, it, like, just kind of imagine it as like a podcast, but more like competitive and like stuff is actually happening instead of people just talking. So um, yeah, once again, click that link down in the description. Let me know if you'd be interested in this um, because like if we actually do this, we would like to get uh, a good amount of views to make sure that you know we're doing everything right and i suppose that is all i wanted to talk about today as this gameplay comes to a close um i think when i was recording this that last kill there by that scout actually pissed me off quite a bit um anyway that is pretty much it <laughs> trying to like rant up before the gameplay ends Oh, here we go, overtime. All right, so uh, if you enjoy this video, then feel free to please, uh, feel, feel free to leave a rating. Um, otherwise, it's just kind of an informational video. And feel free to subscribe if you're new around here. So new subscriptions always welcome. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.